Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. <sighs> Sorry I haven't posted the last couple of days. I've been in kind of a bummer mood. Had to let a connection go. And yeah. <sighs> it is what it is. It's retrograde. Things happen, you know. But I'm here now. And we're going to throw down cards for somebody. Sagittarius, what do you know? It's time to throw your cards down. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Well, it might be my journey. Who knows? <laughs> I am a Sagittarius after all. Well, we'll see if it resonates with me. If it doesn't resonate, though, you can check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings. If you so choose, you might find something that may resonate a little bit better. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can be but vice versa, and cross watches are always welcome, so keep all that in mind. Okay. Alright, Sagittarius. Oh, what does Universe, Source, and Spirit have to say for Sagittarius for the month of July? Wow, these be getting bowl-shaped. <laughs> Might have to dig out the domestic partners in Cyclopedia Britannicas. You know, the ones that are printed on paper. <laughs> He's got a full set in storage. I might have to, uh, bring him home and weigh my cards down with him so they're flat again. Okay, Sagittarius, why are you here? Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, there's been a cut off in communication. It happens. Maybe you cut it off, maybe the other party cut it off, but people ain't talking right now. So, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Seven of Wands. Wow, okay, so you you may feel like they're battling something internally or they're trying to just gain control of their life. What do you think of them? Ten of Cups reversed. You could possibly think that there's a cycle that didn't complete in their life, and maybe they're still wrestling with that? Okay. What do you want from them? The death in the reverse. Hmm. Death, birth, and resurrection. Metamorphosis. You don't want things to change. We'll get a clarifier on that in a second. How do they feel about you? Justice in the reverse. They could see you as a little bit imbalanced. Possibly indecisive. Maybe they feel like you're trying to gain balance in your own life. What do they think of you? Queen of Pentacles, they definitely think you're a catch. Oh gosh, they think you're amazing. They think you got it going on. What do they want from you? Hmm. The hanged man in the reverse. I'm going to have to throw a clarifier on that. First impression. They want you to hang on. They want you to... Stay emotionally hung up a little bit, possibly. What's the challenge here? Eight of Pentacles. Possibly someone was putting all the work into the connection. Or work itself could be an obstacle. One or the both of you could just have work schedules that conflict. 
someone could possibly be still working on themselves. And that's okay too. What can be done? Ace of Swords reversed. I gotta throw a clarifier on that. First impression, no new start in anything. Huh, okay. Hold up. Let's get some clarity on these cards for my Sagittarius brothers and sisters today. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Sagittarius? For the month of July 2020, please. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, that flipped to the Three of Wands. Oi. Sorry. Three of Swords. Heartbreaking situation indeed. We'll see if it comes back out after the shuffle. What do you do when you didn't cut, doofus? <laughs> I'm getting a little ahead of myself, friend. So sorry. Let's try that again. Why do you cut and then free shuffle? I don't know. It's just something I do. Why is the seven of wands up right here? Sun card. They are still wrestling with a very powerful binding connection. But you definitely feel the connection with them. You feel a divine connection with them. One more on that. So that could swing either way at this point. Either they're still wrestling with a connection or you feel a connection with them. Could be a little bit of both. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Take it out of it resonates. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. You may feel a little bit ghosted by him, possibly because you're not talking. All right, why is the ten of why is the ten of why is the ten of cups reversed here? Why is the ten of cups reversed here? Ace of cups. You think they want a new start. You think they want to be able to start over, but the cycle that they're in hasn't ended yet. They may not be ready. All right. Why is death reversed here? Why is death reversed here? Nine of Wands reversed. You want walls to come tumbling down. One more.
Three of Swords in the upright. That's where it is. Came back out. You could want them to finally get through that heartbreak. Wow, Sag. I feel you right now. I so feel you. I so feel you. All right, why is justice reversed here for how the other person feels about Sagittarius? Why is justice reversed here? Six of Pentacles reversed. Imbalance. Maybe could quite possibly feel like it wasn't equal give and take. Either they felt like you didn't give enough or they felt like they didn't give enough. They didn't have anything to give. Maybe they felt like the connection was unfair because they didn't have anything to give, or vice versa. There was something very unfair about the connection, and that's how they feel. One more, please. One more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Knight of Wands in the upper right, Queen of Wands in the reverse. It was like start and stop. Could have been on your end, could have been on theirs. Communication could be start and stop. Anything could be start and stop in this scenario, but it wasn't fair. It's like passing someone on the freeway just to get held up by another car delays. Like the timing or something was off, possibly. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for the other person thinks is Sagittarius? King of Wands. You are a catch. You got what they want. This King of Wands. Some, some sugar and spice. A little bit of a fiery streak there. Maybe, maybe you could have been a little bit too much of a go getter for them. Possibly. Possibly. All right. Why is the hangman reversed here? Oh my gosh, don't give me 20 cards. Nope. We are not taking 20 cards. I'm not even going to take the top one. We're going to see what comes out. Come on now. Okay, apparently these cards are getting a little excited. Come on, one card, please. They don't want a novel. They don't want a movie of the week. <laughs> Thanks. One card. High Priest. High Priest. The Hierophant. They want the blessed union. They do. They want it to be right. They want it to be fair and equal. They want the blessed union. They want you to hang on. One more. The magician. 
the magician came out. They want to manifest greatness with you. They want the blessed union with you. I don't think they want you to give up on them. Can I go one more? I'll take one more. Since so many cards wanted to talk, I'll take one more. The moon reversed. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. You mean a lot of things. It's the karma. Sorry, the moon reversed. It's karma reversed. So it's judgment. It's judgment. They want you to return. They don't want this any more than you do. That that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Well, you're on the same page anyway. It's just you're not talking right now. Nobody's talking. Communication has been cut off. Okay. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for the challenge? An obstacle in this connection? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why the Eight of Pentacles? Why the Eight of Pentacles? Why the Eight of Pentacles? Four came out. Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands reversed, the Star. The Five of Wands reversed. Someone maybe all were wrapped up. In a cage with their own thoughts. They got a lot going on. Maybe one of you is battling some inner demons. We already discussed that. But that cage is in their head. Could be your head, could be their head. The cage is in your mind. It's not really there. You can walk through those swords anytime you want. Your feet are not bound. Your feet are not bound. Your eyes may be bound. Your arms may be bound. Your feet are not bound. You see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? You see? Sorry, it's like the feet are not bound. Ace of Wands reversed. It just couldn't get started for whatever reason. Maybe work was involved and there wasn't time. Somebody doing some self-work. That match isn't striking. The star card. Star card in the upright. Someone's still going through a healing process, possibly. We've already established that somebody hasn't ended a cycle. And you know what I say? say it all the time you should not try to start a new chapter without closing out the old one don't skip the last two pages of the chapter of a book and start the new one because you missed part of the story and I think part of that story is a healing process right now this is a powerful connection it is indeed it's powerful Somebody needs to heal. Five of Wands in the reverse. <sighs> Fire signs are prone to this. Very prone. Some of us, anyways. Particularly Sages. Avoiding the confrontation. It's that, it's that thing we do. I call it the powder keg thing. Looks like one of those old cartoons where, you know, the powder kegs are so stuffed that, that the boards are just ready to bust and there's powder going all over the place. Because we pound our emotions down and pound our emotions down and we avoid the argument until finally that powder keg is so full and it's just ready to bust and the fuse is about that long and one thing touches it off and everything explodes. You're trying to avoid that. Could be them, could be you. <laughs> Somebody... 
try to avoid the conflict for a little bit too long, possibly. And possibly the conflict finally happened, and maybe that's why you're not talking. Someone putting all the work in to other things other than the connection. And I gotta be honest, life happens, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I feel that. I feel that. I've had plenty of connections I couldn't put any energy into and they just had to go. Life happens. You can't fault someone for that. Seven of Pentacles. Came out without intention. I'm going to put it right over here. Card of Divine Timing. Possibly somebody just needs to be patient. Let something grow in its own time. Not yours. No, Saggy. Oh, Saggy. Oh, I know some of you. Most of you. And I can say this because I am one. I am not being, I'm not trying to be judgmental when I say this. I'm not. I'm just throwing this out there. As a general rule, Sagis don't chase nothing. But when we see what we want, we will chase, chase, chase. We will beat a dead horse when we want something. Until finally, when we come to the conclusion that it doesn't want us, off we go. Okay, bye. I don't know if I like a light switch. Saggy, I think in this instance you need to wait out the light switch. Don't hit that light switch yet. I don't think you need to. Because what can be done is an ace of swords reversed. That means no communication. Why is the ace of swords reversed here? Why is he a swords of earth here? For what can be done? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Don't take or give any other offers at this time. Just sit down, Sag. And I know that's a hard one for us, too. I know, it's hard. I don't want to. I don't care. The card said sit down. Don't do nothing. Don't give. Don't take. One more. Well, okay. You're going to get put back because I bumped you out. Empress reversed. Don't force it. Don't water this connection. Don't feed this connection. Don't do anything with it. Don't do anything. I said sit down and sorted the guards. Don't force the connection. One more. One more. Seven of Wands. Maintain self-control. We're fabulous at this. We are fabulous at it. We're experts at maintaining self-control. Spontaneous, yes. But in a controlled, well-thought-out manner.
Neon and I actually had a conversation about this one day. It's funny that that card came up. Fire signs and how they deal with things. And I'm not putting anybody on blast. I'm just throwing this one out there. Aries will jump off the cliff. No questions asked. Adventure time. Woo, let's go. Don't even think about it. If they fall flat on their face, just pick themselves up, dust themselves off, walk on. Do or die. Let's do this. Yeah. Leo. They'll put a little bit more thought into it than that. But they end up jumping off the cliff anyway. And when they fall down, fall flat on their face, they might lay there for a little bit. But they get up, pick up, dust off. Move on. Sagittarius. We'll stand at the top of the cliff. Weigh all the odds, weigh all the possible scenarios, do I jump or not? And usually we jump. And then when we fall flat on our face, if we fall flat on our face, we lay there for a minute, kick ourselves in the butt, you knew this was going to happen, why did you do it? And then we pick up dust off and we move on. Maintain self-control. Allow that thought process. Don't feed it. Don't water it. Sit down. Shut up. Don't do anything. That's what I'm seeing right now. Clearly, you don't want this to end and they want this to return to them. But you can't force it. This requires patience. Temperance in the reverse comes out. There's a negative energy flow here for whatever reason. Could have been with the confrontation. That's why you're not talking. There's a negative energy flow. I'm not saying don't ever approach it. Don't ever do anything with it. Just not right now. Allow the energies to become more positive again. Sit and wait. Let's get your advice. Six of Wands in the upright. Four of Wands in the reverse. Either way, you get your victory. Either way. If the tower falls, you get your victory. Because you can't get your victory in an unstable foundation. You can't walk through a closed door. It's simple physics, really. And as long as you're hanging on to this burden, it's probably best to not seek out love right now. This hurt. It's hurting. You're hurting. 
potentially, or they're hurting. You're probably both hurting. A little more set on that. Some shaky advice here. Page of Swords and the Moon are reversed. Yep. Let that smoke and mirrors clear out a little bit. Allow your perception on the situation to change once you can see the forest through the trees. And those lines of communication open up again. Right now they're not open. Now what does this deck have to say? Eight of Wands reverse. Sorry, Eight of Wands in the upright, Emperor in the reverse. Oh boy. Okay. Forward movement. I wouldn't move forward too quickly because you're still vulnerable. Don't throw a band aid on it. Justice in the reverse, Seven of Swords in the reverse. I think once you take a long, hard, honest look at it, and you see the truth again, it's funny that the Seven of Swords reversed and the Moon reversed both came out. Once everything clears out, I think you'll regain your balance, but right now things aren't going to be balanced. So don't try to force balance. Wait it out. Five of Swords reversed. There's that death reversed again. I just heard the phrase, leave the pieces when you're gone. It's a song. I forget who sings it, but it's a pretty cool song. Wow, that hurts. Death reversed, death reversed. Don't try to pick the pieces up until you know for sure that the story's over. Wait it out. I wouldn't date right now anyway. Wow, 33 minutes. Guys, this is when you're reading for the month of July. Good luck, my friends. Wow. Okay. Thanks for coming by. Sorry for the delay. I love you guys. I love you guys to bits. Be blessed. I'll be back tomorrow morning for the weekend top and bottom of the deck and throwing out a few more readings. So just had to get my energy back. I love you guys. Thanks for coming by.